uh, Coach, uh, just with opening a question. Um, just if you can take us through the match today, tough one, but you come out with another um, positive result for you. Yeah, it's um, definitely um, a result where we were looking for. We had other games before, um, put a little bit under stress. Let's take it from their side. Each and everybody uh, has to say something, is uh, commanding. Uh, it's definitely not uh, um, passing uh, a player, a team, but um, good. We have seen today, and, uh, and I'm saying each and everybody uh, is uh, giving advice. Uh, I must say it's, it's was sometimes interesting. And in the end, um, if you're more uh, Steve Campbella and uh, a number of other colleagues uh, talking about that, uh, this final stage of uh, 10 or now 9 games for us uh, is about mentality, is about uh, how do you want to achieve the result. Uh, uh, then they are totally right, absolutely, and uh, that's definitely something uh, in addition to the tactical work. And I know uh, it's crucial to not only being physically prepared; uh, you have to be prepared uh, on the right level uh, on the mentally side. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the players have done uh, uh, a great job uh, under the circumstances. Uh, where we have been in, uh, not getting the results lately, uh, and therefore uh, it is and it was very crucial uh, to win this game. Compliment, uh, not because of the result, that's uh, definitely not uh, to mention, because we have seen great performance uh, from uh, Daniel Agri over months. Uh, I think it's, it's an unbelievable character uh, if you come into a club uh, where everybody's uh, uh, first choice uh, being injured to, at that time now coming back and uh, at any time you get uh, pressurized uh, uh, another one should play another one should play another one should play and i think it's it's an incredible uh, performance under these circumstances what we see week in week out from daniel and we compliment uh, in particular Otherwise, uh, the entire team um, has contributed. We changed a little bit, uh, or we made it very clear. It's not uh, we did the positional defending, uh, meaning our reference point is the ball. Our reference point is our own teammate in terms of the distance, uh, closing the center, force them to the outside. And um, yeah, the majority of the game, I think uh, we have transferred it uh, quite OK. Um, we have to do better in the transition. Uh, there were moments, uh, where I thought, uh, four against three, three against two, uh, with a result in 1-0, um, to use it, to use it uh, into this direction. Good, Leonardo had already some issues, challenges with his back in halftime, but he said, okay, go another 10 minutes, and uh, come out, uh, it's coming in. Uh, it's obviously uh, a number of knocks, uh, What's normal if you come out of a derby with uh, Samia, with uh, Libuchang, uh, Manyama, I had to take him out because of uh, a certain issue in terms of the cuff. We got a knock. Uh, I think the biggest uh, question mark we have uh, to sort out now in the moment to identify and to see what's going on uh, is Vida uh, Katsande. But um, good, let's see. Um, very happy for our new signing was uh, not really performing in this first half game. And then it picked up uh, that he could uh, contribute. And I know how difficult it is when you come in, in, in such a stage, and uh, you have to contribute. Uh, but he's grown up, he has experience. And uh, if we look into the match uh, back to Highlands Park, it's, the issue was mainly uh, that they cost themselves, Willard and Akumo, always uh, regarding the same position, the same spacing. And, uh, therefore, I was quite confident uh, to bring him in, uh, take the same role, take the same uh, duty. And uh, good, it's very crucial uh, for him to contribute and to be part of this result. Thank you. We'll now open for questions from the floor. Charles Palwell from Daily Sun Sunday Sun. Coach, congratulations on, on the win. Please give us a uh, thought on, on 
Manyama school and how, how beautiful it was. How did you see it from where you went? And how does it feel, coach? You've won three times against um, Pirates in the same season. How's that feeling? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about this. Uh, the statistics is uh, the job from Yusuf and our, our uh, organization. Um, yeah, but would I take the compliments? Thank you. We'll not get carried away. We'll take a cold shower and then uh, I will process it adequately. Uh, it, is, it is definitely something, um, if you have a game like this, this is. Uh, absolutely uh, crucial to, to find the right balance, uh, to find the right uh, way to handle it. Uh, I think uh, this is what, what you can uh, see with the team, with the experience, how they prepare already. And I said it during the week, uh, I think that's very crucial during the week already. And these guys like, like Willard, like George, like uh, Karma coming in, uh, Samir, uh, they all grown up. They all grown up uh, in a way. Have been uh, in several derbies too. And you see, the, there's a certain excitement. Yes, knowing it's a sold out uh, um, stuff. And this is resulting. Back to your question. Uh, if you see how uh, Libuhang was was waiting for the right moment, how he handled it uh, was excellent excellent in a way, where he, excellent, uh, he wanted to execute it in such a way. We had other moments where you can see not the grown-up, not the really feeling comfortable in the final box, so Reef, uh, Osler with the inverted movement in the first half. Yeah. Pull the trigger, use your gun with a bullet in and, and finish. Uh, on the other side it was uh, Kieran, Bakov uh, comes from the other side and we pass again horizontal uh, two, three times. Uh, you are in the box, you are inverted, it doesn't matter left foot, right foot, and, uh, but good, that is definitely a goal what you can uh, put into the catalog of an excellent uh, Libuchang execution, what we have seen here today. When the season was about to, to start, to now, nine games to go, top of the log, are you satisfied with the the period from August to right now with nine games to go and it looks like it's in your hands to win it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I actually, I think as long as this is the case, it was before the game, uh, over now seven months, uh, the case, it's in, in our hand. We, we started uh, uh, going into it, uh, into a season uh, where we have a very clear target. Uh, the league is, is the one, uh, for me the main one, uh, the other one, okay, I uh, deserve the uh, uh, respect too, there's no doubt about it. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sitting and starting to be the mathematician now and uh, do the science, uh, whatever. I could do it, uh, I'm a little bit of uh, educated, but uh, it doesn't bring you anything. Let's prepare the next game, the next game here in F&B, Amazulu, next weekend. And um, I think the, the good stuff is uh, they all play each other. We play Wits twice, uh, Sundowns is playing Pirates, uh, Wits is playing Sundowns, and then it's, 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 it's all this stuff. And uh, I believe it's, it's very crucial how you, you handle this, this matches against the so-called uh, uh, teams are not in, in the chasing pack uh, for the league title. Uh, and I think this is, this is very crucial. And then you go into their situation, knowing that teams like Barocca, like uh, Amazulu, like Polokwane, um, we all play them, they fight for their lives in terms of staying in the league. So that makes it not easier. Uh, that makes it uh, probably even more difficult. And there we have to put the same uh, attitude and the same character and the same um, into into a, a basket uh, of, of portfolio what you want to achieve. Uh, if you go to the bigger bigger stage, if you see uh, Norwich against uh, Leicester City last night, uh, all of a sudden with a 1-0 win, finally uh, fighting Leicester City uh, down to earth and um, good. That, that shows you uh, be well prepared for, for, for matches uh, which will come and it's, it's not easier. It's definitely the same approach and the same character we have to show.
uh, Mark Stradom Times Live. Uh, Coach, just on Akpay, you, you talked about it, but that decision to play him, um, I don't think you had a doubt um, during the week. <laughs> you said you did, but I think you were always going to play him. Yeah. It was the right decision. Yeah. Um, it was always the right decision, yes. I think. Um, it was also, if, you, if it backfired, it would, was going to be very difficult for you. But, so just a very, very, <laughs> a very, very, very... <laughs> that's, that's a job we are in here as a coach, as a backfire. Yeah. Uh, but uh, believe me, just to, to get to this point already in terms of your... If you start with this, that you... Who, if I make this decision now and it could backfire for me, or oh no, take the, the beloved uh, Itokune and ignore uh, the, the performance level uh, from a player you have in a training session, yeah, my. Uh, if you really think so far, it backfires to, to uh, no, come on, and then, then you are not, then go and, and sell insurance or do something else. <laughs> and a second question, sorry, coach, is um, we, we've seen the progression of this team from the first half of the season where they were coming from a low place and just gaining in confidence with the results. And then every time there's been a mini slump over Christmas, bouncing back in a big way. This mini slump, bouncing back in a big way. Big results against Sundowns, big results against Pirates, two twice in a season. Um, it's starting to look like a championship team. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you know, I'm always, as I said, I'm always smiling about if other teams are talking about they don't want the championship, they don't want this. So yeah, no, 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 no. It's just, no, we have a very, very clear. From the beginning, on the 1st of August last year, before we started on the 4th of August. I know, uh, <coughs> smiling all over and uh, what this crazy man is, is doing or saying. And even I said it, uh, coaches were looking at me and uh, said, how can a club pressurize uh, the team in such a way? Uh, I said, no, let's restart. We do certain stuff different and if you do something different, you will probably have different results if you do always the same. Uh, in terms of training, in terms of guiding, in terms of uh, putting stuff together. Uh, you do always the same over five, six, seven years. Uh, you're not getting different results. I'm not quoting Einstein, but I could. Um, so, and I think this, this is, is a very crucial element when we, we talk to uh, the players, we, we give them the right guidance, uh, mentoring. But in the end, I'm always saying players individually and players uh, collective, uh, these are the main force uh, we see in the moment at Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> uh, coach, <laughs> congratulations on the win. Um, just on, on Kama, um, most of us would have bet on him to go for gold, that chance that he had one-on-one uh, -on -one with Sunderland. How is his confidence at the moment? Is, was it affected by that penalty miss against Sunderland Park last week? spoken to to George or to whatever we it was done on, on, on immediately starting the week on, on Monday uh, we haven't really attracted uh, it there is other we have a squad and uh, this uh, as I said this positional defending uh, from our side what we really needed uh, we needed a functional uh, positional uh, movement out of the midfield and then you have to decide to, to not three, you bring just uh, two. And I was going first for, for Leonardo and Sami, as you have seen. But for me, it was always clear at a certain moment to, to use Karma. And, uh, he contributed on the same way. And I think it's, it's very, very uh, interesting uh, uh, to see how each and everybody, as part of the team, uh, in the squad uh, or not, uh, and I think this uh, is very crucial for all of us to accept it. And if you get uh, called, uh, uh, do it. Uh, yeah, not scoring. This was one against one. Uh, this uh, the other moment where I thought uh, Eric Matoho uh, was even probably a bigger uh, chance. There was not a one against one. The goal was empty. But um, if you look worldwide in soccer, if you see uh, Wolverhampton and uh, Wanderers playing against Espanyol uh, this week, uh, there was nobody even uh, out of 13 meter. There was nobody uh, frontal. The goalpost was totally empty, and uh, the player uh, kicked the ball nearly to the to the corner flag. Uh, <laughs> it happens. It happens. We can sit here now and accept it. We don't have to make a uh, big noise. 
of course, it would be a different uh, opinion uh, if it ends uh, zero zero and one one. Then, uh, so it's easy to take. Uh, wait for the microphone. Commerce confidence is commerce confidence is good. Uh, you know, otherwise, if you want to know more, ask it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, please. Skip it. Skip it. Must skip it from uh, Power FM. Coach, uh, I think in the match uh, when when things were when things are normally not going well, you always need to. Uh, you know, some sort of one that just pick themselves up and just lead the team. And you've seen the performance of George Maluleva today, I mean, the way he tracked back, went forward, the interceptions he was making, and then you've got Manyama. And these two players, other than Akpe, doing well in goals. Just how important is it to have this kind of people who just pick themselves as leaders of the team, even if without armbands, yeah. to just yeah. carry the team and lift them up? There is no doubt about it. It's, uh, and as you can see, I'm talking about core players and then this <laughs> These two guys are uh, some other players, uh, Daniel Cardoso, Eric Matoro, uh, and are not, uh, not, uh, you know, uh, you get uh, identified uh, as a coach who doesn't know what to do uh, very often. Um, I heard about it. I don't read it, but uh, I heard about it, and um, it's very crucial for us to have this consistency. Uh, you can say, ah. There is a plan B, there is a plan C, there is a plan D, and he doesn't have a plan E. Uh, sorry guys, this is put the core together and we stick to, to George, to Lebo. Even they had games where uh, it was not like this today. This, uh, these are the crucial guys. Uh, sorry for some players who have to wait a little bit in the moment, uh, not coming really into it. But I think actually one of the most important parameters for how we are dealing uh, with the season in the moment, that we have an absolutely consistency uh, in terms of our, our setup, in terms of our core players. And uh, for us, uh, each and everybody, Therefore, I hope that uh, George is uh, as quick as possible uh, to make it happen, to get this final contract uh, discussion done. Uh, very crucial for, for Kaiser Chiefs, uh, Liverpool, George, uh, Daniel, a number of players. But these two, I fully agree with your statement, are, are very, very important for us. We'll take the final three questions. Uh, Kush, uh, congrats on the win. Um, just to go back to... Really, let, just a sec. Let please ask the team to switch your cell phone off, wherever that is. Thank you, Talon. Continue. Um, going to how you set up at the back um, today, having someone like Rui Fosler at left back, I think first time I saw him there was in the Under-17 World Cup. And <laughs> <laughs> I watched the games, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it was, it was, it was very interesting. It was his right foot head, but um, the ball, he was, he was not taking the ball back to the right foot, he was comfortable in his left. And what were you looking for uh, in, in, in this switch today? Yeah. And is this something maybe in some of the competitive games still to come you would be tempted to do? It was, uh, uh, let's go first uh, uh, back to the sickness. It was, was very, if you, if you watch the, the uh, Alan Pilots games, uh, doesn't matter playing against Black Leopards uh, or playing against Sundowns. Uh, I follow them, I go into the stadium and uh, wherever. And you see 80% uh, of uh, their forward movement is coming through the inverted positioning uh, mango from the side, uh, dribbling into it. It comes from Loch from the side, dribbling into it. And for me, uh, it was very crucial to have a player with uh, a heart, a player with uh, being robust uh, on 100% defensive level, what Kotsu Moleko did. So then now I have a problem at the next stage. Uh, an outstanding player like Lee Fosler, I can't leave him out. Uh, he is able to contribute not only to the defense, he's able to contribute uh, to the forward movement. And it was not a big uh, question for us. Uh, we found quick uh, the solution to say, okay, uh, we put him there, uh, contributing to the forward movement. Um, on the right fullback, we need uh, a more First of all, defensive part, and on the left uh, fullback, we need the forward movement, underlapping, overlapping, both uh, fitted uh, performance, and uh, I'm very happy how it worked.